Hi everyone, welcome back to Smarty Ink Workshop. Today I am joined by none other than Ms. Taylor Swift. Oh, yes. That was fun to make. Although I was a little scared to show her to everyone because people can see your mask as something else completely, you know, someone can think that's, you know, Meryl Street. so who knows, but here she is. I hope everyone likes it. I know I like it. I know my moose likes it. So we're bringing her to you. And I hope you enjoy the making of this Taylor Swift mask. I did not want to be a sellout, but how can you not make Taylor Swift on Super Bowl week? Ah! And don't forget to check out my Etsy at Smarty Inc. Workshop, where you can find all these masks in stock and many more and more to come okay let's get to the making of the mask because that's what we're here for thanks for joining me again at smarty ink workshop makes taylor swift i hope you all enjoy the video and learn a little something and that's all we got so have fun and let's get to it go taylor All right, let's get started here by lining our form. Unlike the last video where I forgot halfway through blocking, I had to go back and line it, and restart the skull. So let's block out this face. I was nervous to start this mask because I know Taylor Swift has a huge fan base and I'm afraid of what they'll do to me if I make her not pretty enough or something. <laughs> but we're making it either way and that's that. Alright, I'm starting to see some glimpses of Miss Swift. Let's move on and see what we have. I think I see a little bit of her face here, so we're going to move forward and keep going. Finish up these details and smooth her out. And try to get her as Taylor Swift as we possibly can. Now there's a lot that goes into sculpting, and if anybody wants to see an in-depth video, maybe a two-parter, in like actual time you can leave a comment and I will do so but otherwise I just try to fit it all in as much as possible and not put you guys to sleep by watching someone sculpt for you know two days straight so what you're seeing here is just a drop in the bucket of time spent on a sculpt now I'm totally seeing Taylor Swift in the sculpt so I'm feeling more satisfied I can finish up these eyes with some detail, give her some eyebrows, and maybe work on some pores and skin texture to get that realness that we're looking for. Now I know she may not look like Taylor Swift to some because it's hard to visualize it all finished, painted and wigged up. So I'm feeling comfortable where we're at and this is the final sculpt and I like it. It looks like Taylor Swift to me. What do you Swifties think? Leave a comment, good or bad, I wanna know. Now we're using Hydrocal as always and creating a mold with layers of burlap and layers of Hydrocal. I like to get at least a three inch mold because they can, you know, fall over or take abuse and you don't want the cracks. So burlap will keep it sturdy 
and we will have a good long lasting mold. Now we're getting this clay out of here bit by bit. That went a lot faster than it actually took. It took about two hours to get that clay out of here. Now we're going to pour our latex and cast this sucker up. After the base coat is applied, we continue with a flesh tone and from there we're going to add deeper tones and warmer tones and cooler tones just to get that nice realistic skin color and texture. Our skin is looking good to me so we're going to move on to some deepening enriching of these colors with pastels the eyes with some eyeshadows using some violets and browns and a little bit of burnt siennas just to bring them out a little bit add some depth this point I think Taylor's had too much caffeine <laughs> we have a moment here I want to remind you guys to please come check out my Etsy shop at Smarty Inc and check out all the new masks that I will be having this year thanks guys pastels and applying just basic coats to the eyes and we're about to go into the iris and add some nice details
And just like sculptures, I like to check my work in different lighting to see how the paint looks and so far, pleasing to my eye, so let's move forward. Alright, let's use some black pastel and to find these eyes because she always wears a lot of eyeliner. Yes, I said it, Taylor. Now I really couldn't decide which size, what length to go with here, so I went with what I thought. Maybe I went a little too heavy on the bottom lash, but I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think? I don't ever think there's such a thing as too much lash, but that's just me. Okay, this is looking so real, it's uh, really creepy, but she's gorgeous. And I still can't decide, red lip or nude lip? Somebody tell me. And now my favorite part of mask making, getting rid of the freaking ugly piece. red lip is giving me life and it's giving her life too so there it is now let's swiftly slap on some hair and get to the reveal okay I don't know about you guys but I think she looks pretty awesome and so pretty. Is this what she looks like? I don't know. You tell me. Thank you for joining me on the making of this very special mask, the Taylor Swift mask. It's been a big week for her. Um, that's all I've been hearing about left and right. So that's why I did it. If anybody's wondering, uh, we will make someone else next week. I am not sure whom, but if anyone has any suggestions or ideas, please leave them down in the comments. I would love some ideas, something fresh, maybe something that hasn't come to mind. So. Thank you again. I appreciate all the views and everybody for taking the time to watch my videos. And I will try to continue to bring some fun stuff your way. I will see you next time. Everybody stay safe and have a good week. Bye-bye from Smarty Ink Workshop. Take care.